Yeah. 128.62. All right. All right, bro. Well, have a good day, man. Yeah, thank you. You as well. Thanks, bro. Good, thank you. Have a
What's up guys, Matt Tolvers. So I'm gonna show you guys my setup here. If you hear some bullets going off, it's because there is a gun range in this state forest. I shouldn't be anywhere near where those bullets head, thankfully. And there's a big dirt hill behind where they shoot. So I got a new e-bike I'm gonna show you guys. I got another power station I'm gonna show you guys. And then I got a solar panel. Been enjoying the fan right there, just chilling. No mosquitoes or nothing on me with that netting there, they call the tail veil. So here's our setup for today, guys. As always, our little white van. We've got a new e-bike. This is the KBO Compact. It's actually really foldable. Over here, we got my solar panel. This is the Ace Volt 200 watt solar panel. It was charging at like 135 watts so far. Been charging it. It's a pretty cloudy day and uh, it's later. It's like after four something PM. But so far it's uh, been charging it up faster than I've been using, which is nice. I got all my WeatherTech window shades on here. So it's helping kind of keep it cooler inside the van, even though I'm not really in there right now. You guys see me pick up this solo stove at Shields. And we got some little wood pieces to try out in there. And then uh, got some color stuff. So this should be pretty sweet tonight. And I do want to have some s'mores because I had some extra from last time. Here's my Ace Bolt Camp Power 2000. We're going to be uh, kind of testing that out in this video. I'll show you guys that. This is kind of like the perfect size for majority of people. Currently, we are at 83%. We're charging at 97 watts. We're about to have some food here, and then uh, we'll go do some exploring on this e-bike. Oh yeah, perfect. Well guys, in my opinion, we have the perfect grilled cheese. Two different kinds of cheese and a little thin uh, piece of turkey in there. Just add a little protein. And then we got some of these uh, sweet potato like chips. So I'm about to eat this, listen to some gunshots, and then we'll uh, go ride that e-bike and do some exploring. There's a lot of cool lakes and stuff over here, so. I keep hearing thunder. I don't know if it's going to rain again or not. Hopefully not because I'm not really prepared for it, but I can pack up quick if I need to. So good. These chips are really good too. I highly recommend these. Got them at Costco. Well, food was delicious. I turn the fan off when I'm talking to you guys just because you probably can't hear my audio, but it feels so good to have that even on low. But this tail veil thing is amazing, guys. Honestly, I recommend it. It just gives you so much more space to the van. feels so good get a shop fan to run it on a big power station even on low i don't care how hot it is if you got a fan like that blowing on you it feels amazing gotta keep it clean guys so i'm just gonna quickly show you this and we're gonna go exploring you see this little latch you just gotta go like that unpop it then it goes in half it kind of rests there's a latch here on the handlebars also so you just unlatch that and then it should just go down so that folds down just kind of push it together <laughs> very compact and then you can see it's resting there's a little metal bar right there and then it has the kickstand right there also bring it back bring that back out latch that bring the handlebars back up latch that now it's ready to ride. You take the battery off. All you do is just do that with the seat, the key in, go to unlock. You can just pull the battery right out, charge it inside the house or help it to not get stolen. You can just put it back, slide it back in there. 
You can see it's on the on setting, that's to lock it. And then obviously to unlock the battery, you just do that. So we'll put it on, put the seat down, and then you just hold the power button down. And it'll turn on. Then you can change your uh, assist level. I always just go to five, but you know, if you just want it one, you can do that. It has a 750 watt motor in the rear. It has a 748 watt hour battery. It's supposed to get up to 55 miles on this, depending on obviously how much you're pedaling. And then you can see it has a light on the front. You can lock the suspension if you're like doing street riding, but we have it open because obviously we're gonna be doing off-roading. And there's no uh, rear suspension in it, but it does have a suspension thing in the seat. I've actually never seen that before. So the seat does kind of comfort. It goes up and down. See the throttles right here. I don't want it to go right now. To turn the front light on, you just hold the plus for a couple seconds. It turns the light on. You can't really tell because it's still too bright out here and then turn it off. You just hold it for a few seconds again. But the rear is actually just battery. So you just got to press a button on it and then that'll help people see you at night. They say you can be five foot two to six foot three is the recommend uh, height, but you can just pull that open and it'll adjust up and down the seat. And they also have an adjuster on the handlebar. Well, it's only like 630 and we got some pretty dark clouds and radar looks like potential rain. So I'm actually going to take the tail veil down. I've been back in there for a few hours enjoying myself. So there's not too many bugs. So let's take this down, get stuff inside the van, and let's go ride the e-bike by some lakes and see if we can see anything cool. So here's the Ace Bolt 200 watt solar panel. Back just has a waterproof seal zipper. Got your MC4 cord. It's actually kind of long. Normally they're not that long. You just plug this into the one that comes with your power station or an extension cord like I have. Has three legs on the back. You can adjust it based on pulling those obviously. There's the zipper where you can take the MC4 cord out. Very, very simple, high quality, and it does have grommets on it if you want to like hang it up on the side of your vehicle. And then I'm feeling rain now, so uh, let's put this stuff away. Well, here comes the rain, guys. Let's put this stuff away here. Very simple. Just got to put this cord back in here. By the way, it is raining now. All we need is the fridge going while we're gone. So we're down to 73%, 40 some watts with the compressor on. Turn these lights off, make sure this AC is off. Don't want that on. I double pressed it and now everything's off besides the fridge. Well, it's starting to rain kind of heavy. So hopefully this e-bike likes rain. We're gonna find out here. You can kind of hear it on the window here, maybe. That hail earlier was crazy. I had to pull over. Oh yeah, that's picking up more. I can hear it on the trees. Raining hard. Woo -hoo -hoo. We'll uh, test out the e-bike's waterproofness for sure, guys. Sorry for letting you guys get wet out there. We'll get dry now. Well, the rain is done temporarily. We'll see if we get more. All I got is baby wipes. I forgot a towel. So uh, let's see if we can dry this off a little bit so I don't get my butt all wet. Hopefully she starts. I assume it will, but I guess I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it will. So to turn it on, the key, hold down the power button, 21 miles, see how many we can put on it. I just put it on max assist, mainly just going to probably do thumb throttle. I don't know if I'm going to be doing much pedaling, so let's try her up.
you do got to pedal a little bit to get it going. As we'll turn our headlight on, hold the plus. It's still pretty bright out here, so you can't really tell. Not a bad little lake. I think it's Mosquito Central since it's pretty small, but it hasn't been too bad out here, thankfully. I wonder if we got some fish under those lily pads. Probably some turtles and frogs for sure. I don't know if there's anything big in there, but you never know. Go head to another lake here. Woo! Definitely gonna have to do some more camping at this state forest because there's a lot of uh, spots to pull over and camp. See, there's like a trail right there, but I found quite a bit of spots where I could pull over. My beautiful little foldable e-bike. Hello? I think Bigfoot's out there, I can hear him. What's up, bro? He answers, he's like, so up, it's super deep. Look at the deer looking at me. What's up, bro? What's up, buddy? Oh, oh he dipped. There's a trail right here. That was the road I was on, the dirt road. You see, it's like a dead end there. This is pretty much a dead end. I mean, it may have been a trail at one point, but I'm not taking the e-bike through that. But you can tell there's a lot of water back there. And right as I stopped, I heard some big splash. So either a deer or something jumped in the water. I wish I could get back there, but it's like a swampy area. I'm not trying to go back there. Should we try this trail, see what happens? So I'm slight, I'm barely paddling right now, like barely, but I am full throttle. Oh, it wants to go a little too fast. Oh God. This is sketchy. All right guys, this is where we'd see animals for sure. You can tell a lot of animals have been through here. If you look at the dirt, try not to go too fast through this area. Oh, we got some mud. Oh God. Oh, this thing's really good at off-roading. It's like, I'm actually really comfortable on the seat. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, we're going through mud and everything. Oh, it's been raining a lot the past few days. So this is like all mud. Look at this. Oh my God. No way I'd be taking my electric scooter through this. to 26 miles so we put another five on it but it was so much off-roading it felt like even more than that kind of see the headlight now press the little button she got a little dirty but man that handled the off-road so well it has to be this uh suspension in here because the other e-bike i had didn't have that it was just the front suspension but i was really comfortable even sitting down going over those bumps so that was sweet thank god i had these fenders on here because otherwise my whole back would have been completely muddy Well, these mosquitoes are majorly out now, so we're going to test out this bug zapper and this thermocell because uh, I'm getting eaten alive currently. Time to open some goodies here. I have a little fire, maybe a colorful fire. I know I have massive uh, mosquito welts on my shoulder. I can feel it. Brand new, I forgot to bring mine from home, so we got some brand new ones here. Here it is, guys. Got a little stand there. 
rubber feet. Got this lid there. Just put the wood or whatever in there. And it's got this pellet thing you can put in here if you got pellets. I've got these little wood pieces, so we're gonna put some of these in there. Has this little lid. I just don't think I'm gonna use that just because I can put more wood in here. Make this a little bigger. I did bring this other piece of like pine wood because those light really easy. So we'll try. I don't know how big I should make this, but go big or go home, right? That should be plenty. We'll try to light these, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna light this. Try to light one of these first. Uh, not lighting too easy. So try this piece of pine wood here. See if this will light easier. Seems like it. Pine wood's going really good. I'm hoping this other wood starts on fire. I'm not sure if it is yet. Ooh, that fire's getting huge. Look at that. It's like curling up that pine wood. It's crazy how something so small can put off that much heat. But you can see because it has those holes in it, it like makes so much circulation of air that it kind of almost turns into like a mini tornado fire. It's pretty cool. Yes, I like mine crispy. The design of this burns through this wood super fast. There is so much heat coming off of that though. But we're gonna put a little bit more on there because ooh, it's kind of dangerous. There's an insane amount of heat coming off of that. Oh my gosh. Like almost burning my hand just putting it on there. I almost probably should have got the one bigger. It's called the XL of this. Just because these wood pieces barely fit in there. owls and crows and all sorts of stuff predators are definitely coming out they're ready to eat i'm gonna try one of these little packets here see if it'll even fit in there these are pretty pretty big i'll try to jam it in there Ooh. i already see some color doesn't show up on video but it's like a really cool bluish green it's like too bright for the phone or something well we're out here with the predators it's very dark now a lot of weird noises. Got a lot of bats flying around. Look at that tiny crescent of a moon, guys. It's super dark out here. This is awesome. I can actually see down there with my phone, but I can't with my eyes. That's weird. It's like extremely quiet out here. Well, it is really dark. Let's turn on this light and let's see if the bugs come to us. Ooh, that's bright. Watch all the bugs come in here now. I had this open for a thumbnail. It smells like smoke. That thing's kind of blowing some of the smoke out, thankfully, but ugh. things you do for a thumbnail, guys. Well, guys, we're out here with the only source of light and I'm here breaking branches now, so getting a little sketchy. I'm going to put my e-bike right next to the van because I'm not putting it inside. Leave it right there. 
there. Should be here in the morning, hopefully. Guys, there's a lot of breaking branches now. That way, and that way. I'm gonna start putting stuff away. These bugs. The light. I think it's dark enough now, and all the predators are out, so uh, I think we are gonna head in. This will continue to burn down. It's safe. Get off of my light, bro. So we're gonna head, you wanna see how dark it is? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we're gonna leave that all out here. Let's head inside the safe van. So for the thumbnail, I had all these doors open for a minute. Look at the bugs right here. We got a mosquito eater, mosquitoes. We got this little uh, thing on now. So hopefully the bugs will go in there and get killed. I can tell a couple got killed for sure. This fan feels so good right now. It's kind of drying off my feet and pants from that bike trip there. But it's pulling uh, about 90 watts. It says nine hours if it continues at that rate. 61%, but I don't think I'm gonna run this all night. I just might use that little fan because I want to have coffee in the morning and I don't know when the sun's going to come up high enough to use that solar panel. I don't want to be here all day, so. Well, it's coffee time, guys. It's currently pulling about 950 watts. If you can see, it's really bright out here. See how long it takes to boil this. This thing works so good. It's already getting close. It's been like maybe a minute. Morning guys, just starting the day off right here with some coffee. Got a lot of birds chirping, just relaxing for a moment, just surrounded by woods. Once in a while you'll hear a car drive by or an ATV or something like that, but pretty much there's just been nobody out here. So uh, it's been nice. The sun's starting to pop before those trees, so it is heating up a little bit. I think it's supposed to get up to 90 today, so even warmer than yesterday. Well guys, while I drink my coffee, let me quickly show you the power station I brought today. You guys know I've had like 30 power stations now, and this is about the perfect size in my opinion for most people that are starting off van camping. This with a 2000 watt inverter, 
will allow you to run all the electric devices you see in all my videos, like the electric kettles or electric grills or the toasters or the coffee makers. This will run all of that stuff. So that's why I recommend a 2000 watt inverter. This also has 2000 watt hours of power, which I think is about perfect for most people. So to turn this thing on, you just hold the power button for a few seconds. You'll hear it kick in. There you go. Then over here, we got a 12 volt car charger. We got an XT60, which is kind of nice. It's got two barrel plugs. It does separate the USB and the DC, which is really nice. So you don't have to have both on at the same time, like a lot of power stations. You got two USB A's. Here's the quick charge USB A's, so you can charge stuff up faster or that draws more power. It's got two USB C's. These are 100 watt USB C's. This was charging my phone super fast yesterday. Over here, you got a light. Press it to turn it on. You got SLS and you got strobe. And on the right is where all your AC outlets are. Turn it on by pressing the little button. It's got a flap. And then you got six AC outlets, and they all have the third prong. This is basically the most uh, outlets I generally see on a power station. So make sure you turn it off and you're not using it so you don't waste power on that inverter. There's fans on both sides here. The left, it has another little flap. You can see this is where you charge it from the wall outlet. 1100 watts so this thing will fully charge in under two hours and it comes with the ac wall outlet there's no power brick so it's just nice and simple that's all you need to charge it you can also charge up to 500 watts via solar you can see this one's an anderson style plug so you just plug in the uh, provided cord you just plug that right in there then you got your mc4s which that just plugs into your solar panels so you can do up to 500 watts of solar so that would fully charge us if you had max perfect everything it would be four hours so you're more looking at like five to six hours depending on how much solar you got you can see the back is flat which is perfect to rest against your body and kind of keep it in your power zone weighs 48 and a half pounds there's the specs of that this also has those new lithium iron phosphate batteries so it's that newer technology it's like 3500 cycles down to 80 percent and it's like a lot safer less chance of fires and all that stuff the screen is perfect giving you the info you need it shows you 29 percent gives you that horseshoe to just kind of give you a visual idea of how much power you have left it shows your input your output and then this is like your estimate depending if you're charging or discharging got to plug back in guys watch this all i got to do to turn my fridge on there we go fridge is on now look at the lights aren't on right that's what i love about this being separated press that button bam my lights are on now you want these white lights to come on watch this Bam, sweet. Normally you guys wouldn't want to bring this out and put it on a table, but I had to demonstrate this for you guys. So you want to leave everything obviously plugged in and all you do is just get like a long extension cord, plug it in there, and then obviously take the other end and plug it into your coffee maker, whatever you want to do outside. All right, guys, I'm wearing a black shirt and that sun is starting to beat down. So I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys had fun and it was fun testing out some more products. We got some epic stuff coming up. I've had to kind of catch up on product reviews. I got way behind because all the stuff I had going on in my personal life. I don't want to get into that, but... So if you guys want to check out anything in this video that I use, the KBO e-bike, the power station, the solar panel by Ace Volt, or any other products I use, I'll have a link in the description. But uh, yeah, I had fun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.